hope I don't know if 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 people outside of elected office um, who have been primarily private sector folks understand that when you do go out and talk to the locals um, on a on a one by one basis, trying to get majority support from city councils and boards of supervisors, the two areas they're going to be most concerned about our revenue displacement, and that's just a, a huge deal here, um, and governance. I actually think that the local control issues that are present here are pretty pretty minor overall. We, we're got, we're going in that direction. We're going to need to go in that direction. And to, to any of my peers listening here, you know, I, I think the days of pure local control are probably over in terms of local government. But when you're going in and saying we want money, we want to displace some of your capacity for money, and um, you know, we've got an uncertain governance for what we're going to do with that money, um, we got a lot of, that's, those are, those are huge, huge issues. And the other thing is I just want to say relative to the HDC, which Steve talked a little bit about, um, sort of the New York model, um, I, I think that has to be pursued. Um, I would endorse that with a one right now. Um, and I think we need to, you know, get off the starting blocks and start creating a, a housing development corporation. Um, very similar to the model that, that they're using in New York um, as fast as we possibly can. Um, it is a non-governmental agency. It's not constrained by uh, a lot of uh, the competitive bidding issues and other issues that we have to go through under state law. Um, and it, it, it really has, um, uh, as a public benefit corporation, which is the model they use, the ability to be very nimble and to accrue profits um, which local governments and regional governments and state governments just can't do. We're just, we're not allowed to profit. We're only allowed to do cost recovery. So.